All right, guys, so welcome back. As always, I'm the Bearded Beast, Rob Johnson. And today I'm joined by USBC Silver Level Coach and President of Hit the Head Pin, Al Henderson. Al, thank you for joining us here. Thank you for having us. It's a wonderful trip up here. You guys have a great town. Looking forward to working with you. Awesome. Yeah, Al came all the way up to Flor from Florida to show us some really cool tools, not only for use on the lanes, but off the lanes to help improve your bowling. So over the next couple of shows, we're going to take a look at them and uh, see how we can improve your bowling over uh, the summer months. So Al, tell me about what you brought with you today. Well, we brought a complete line of everything that Eileen's Bowling Buddies is producing today. Um, we've got the, the pin and the orb, the block. Uh, we've got the rev trainer, the release trainer. We've got some three-in-one tools that are additives to help our other tools out. And then the new alignment trainer that we really just released in the past month or so. We introduced it at the World Bowling Coaches Conference at the ITRC in Arlington. And so uh, this is going to be the first uh, real um, review of uh, how it works on somebody that it hasn't been introduced to before. So we're really looking forward to seeing, showing everybody how that will improve your game. Well now, for, for those of you who watched before, you know that I've had my own struggles with my swing path. Uh, from 2014, when I went to the World Series, uh, I had a very uh, inside out swing, not in a good way. Uh, and it ended up leading to a pretty bad shoulder injury. And since then, I've completely rebuilt my game, reteaching myself how to bowl using a couple of these tools. So I'm really excited to see the new ones kind of in use and see how I've come along with my uh, progress. So uh, why don't we take it down to the lanes and we're going to take a look at these individually on how you can use them when you're at the center. All right, guys, here we are on the lanes, and now we're going to be looking at the first two tools. So what do we have here, Al? We have the uh, orb. This is, uh, this is a, a power trainer that will help you get into some great power positions. It was designed uh, to be five pounds, and what that does is that mimics the actual weight of an actual 15-pound bowling ball coming off the pads of your fingers. So as you swing this tool you're actually getting the feel of your actual bowling ball. Also the size, the diameter, circumference of this is the same as a bowling ball. So as you get into the proper bowling positions through your swing it's like actually having a bowling ball without lugging around 15 or 16 pounds. So what an advantage to train at home without wearing yourself out. Yeah, now uh, as I was talking about my injury, uh, when I hurt my shoulder, I couldn't swing a full bowling ball for about six months afterwards mm -hmm. without a lot of pain. But with this, because I got this uh, at the World Series, I was lucky enough to, to get my hands on one of these, I was actually able to train because it wasn't as stressful on my shoulder, and yet it gave me that same feel. And like Al was saying, when you get into your position, it's just like having a ball right inside of your leg you can actually create that same feel on your fingertips and that same position and get all of your balance and everything correct mm -hmm. without hurting myself, which was awesome because uh, my shoulder hurt like a son of a gun. <laughs> um, so we got another tool here that uh, you can use with it. What's this one? We got the Big Handle Power Trainer. Now this one is still the same five pounds but we have a different arrangement to actually grip it. There's several different reasons for making this, but sometimes when you're coming back from an injury or you're really wanting to train, and maybe this, this orb doesn't quite fit what you want to accomplish, you can get all four of your fingers into this, into this opening here and actually get you more stability and able to transfer the loads back up to your arm. And even if you've got a weak grip, you can bring your thumb around and actually grab it like a suitcase. 
so you, it will actually help you to train a little bit faster. Now, uh, something that we had talked about uh, when we're talking about this is, is this is actually really good not just for bowling, but for anybody who is trying to strengthen themselves, looking for something that's not only comfortable to, to grab onto, but is in a shape and a material that you can't really hurt yourself too badly with. That's exactly uh, right. Uh, one of the things I noticed about this is the material. The material is incredible. It's pliable and yet heavy and durable as anything. Like I can, I can drop it. Mm -hmm. It's completely undamaged. I can fold the top of it. Well, I can let you in on a couple of little secrets here. All right. The material is surgical grade rubber. Okay. Okay. So, number one, you've got a lot of people handling this. It's sanitary. Pop it in the dishwasher. Don't run the heat cycle because it doesn't like heat, but it'll come out like brand new. Put it in the sink, rinse it off, dry it just a touch. Again, it'll be like brand new. Uh, if you go into a, a gym, they usually have the little uh, anti, anti and a bacterial sprays, yeah. spray. You do that on here and it just completely cleans it instantly. So not only does it have all the characteristics of, of hurting, uh, not hurting you, but actually uh, the cleanliness aspect of it is, is off the chart. Now you just bent that, that back. This is one of the things that we really like about all of our products. As an engineer by trade, if you take any material like that, you're going to have fissures, cracks, other um, deformations that stay permanently. Not with this rubber. Nope. This is unusual material that has almost 100% compression, and yet it bounces back 100%. Yeah, I can't, uh, as hard as I try, it just keeps snapping back to the center. That's actually so, really cool. So other than heat, this these puppies are almost indestructible and that's what you want when you're investing in bowling tools you're into it for the long term we want these things to last forever we try to make it out of the best material that we can possibly do it well, that's awesome i know as, as a silver level coach myself uh, i work with a lot of kids and sometimes the hygiene that goes along with kids they get their hands into places mm -hmm. and stuff uh, being able to wash these mm -hmm. after giving a lesson or before I use them myself, mm -hmm. that's huge. So we got the power orb. Mm -hmm. We got the big handle. Power trainer. What do we do? One, one last thing before we take this to the lane. All right. Is that if you've had a major catastrophic type injury to your hand and you need help with a little bit of uh, rehab, this is perfect for that. So, um, unfortunately, uh, you know, if you've experienced something like that, this is a tool that will help you get back to bowling as quickly as possible. That's awesome. I know a lot of our, uh, our viewers out there have asked about um, doing rehab, shoulders, forearms, wrists, mm -hmm. hands. So this allows them to get back to training, even if they can't pick up a ball yet, and get back into the quote unquote swing of things. I'm sorry for the pun. Um, faster and get back on the lanes faster. Mm -hmm. That's awesome. Yeah. All right, so let's let's take a look at these guys. Good deal. So I'll hand this to you. Okay. And why don't you show me what we're supposed to be doing here? Now, just like you demonstrated, you did a, the perfect way of doing it. I noticed when you lined up, got into your finished position, I saw you take the orb and move it closer to your ankle. This is the position that transfers the most power from your lower body directly into the ball. Just look at any video on YouTube of some of your elite players. Notice one little thing that hardly anybody talks about. Most of the time, you will see the edge of the ball actually clip the pant leg of these PBA bowlers because they know this is maximum power transferred to the ball. There's really not another tool out there that mimics this perfect position than this orb. And you can do this at your home time and time and time again. 
and get yourself ready to go to the lanes for maximum repeatability. Well, that's, you know what, that's, that's a word that I've heard you use a lot. And I think that it's a departure from what we've seen about repetition mm -hmm. into repeatability. Because you can do anything a whole bunch of times, mm -hmm. but being able to do it the same way all time and time again, there's a big difference mm -hmm. between that. The most, as coaches, and you know this as good as anybody, what do I do to be more consistent? Uh. We hear that all the time. <laughs> and I've come to the realization that consistency is really not a part of the bowling game. Okay. But we can repeat. Here's the difference. Consistency has a lot to do with scoring. I want to shoot a 190 every time I go out. Okay. For me personally, that's pretty boring, but that may be a goal for somebody else. That's not achievable because even though you're in control of everything that happens before the foul line, you have no control of what happens after the foul line. And that's, that's the invisible playing field. That's topography, that's oil, that's environment, that's all those things that we just cannot that's control. That's even the condition of the pins. Yep. Um, so those are the things. How can we be consistent when the playing field, even from lane to lane, is not consistent? But you as the bowler can repeat what you're doing on the approach. And that's what these tools are designed to do. Okay, so we got down into our finished position. We got the ball in by our ankle. Want to get our hand into position. And yeah, you can feel this very quickly on your fingertips, just like if you were rolling a ball. You can feel it very quickly. And you, this, ju this you just let gravity to do the work for you. Yeah, absolutely. And it's one of the things I've noticed in listening to you talk about these, that all these tools have immediate feedback. That's something that we're going to talk a lot about when we're looking at these, is the feedback. Because I noticed very quickly, when I first started doing it, mm -hmm. if my hand wobbled, boy oh boy, you can see that in a hurry. You can feel that in a hurry. If you start pulling it down, you can feel that kind of thing very quickly with, with these tools. What you're doing is changing the gravitational pull by changing the weight and the weights distributed on your hand. Your body reacts to changes that you don't even know about. So that feeling you get is, oh, something's changed, something's different, correct. That's what your mind says. Correct. And we do that uh, right there as we release the ball. Oh, we're late. Oh, we're early. Our mind corrects. So what this is doing is this is giving you the feeling of my mind kicking in and correcting while you're not on the lanes. So, so the more times you can program yourself to get into the correct bowling position, and the more times that you groove that off the lanes, the better your repeatability is going to be on the lanes, the better your score is going to be. Well, and, th and that's it is you can do this maneuver 10,000 times at home, but you only have a, a, a finite amount of shots that you want to pay for at the center. So you want to make the most of your time on the lanes mm -hmm. and the most, most out of your time to practice. Exactly. Just think how much money this is saving you yeah. in lineage. <laughs> so we got the big handle here. What do mm -hmm. we use this for in conjunction with this? This is much more um, getting the entire forearm and hand. I like to use this tool to really concentrate on relaxing my arm. Okay. Because this does put into use your pinky and your pointing finger, your index finger. By putting them in into the big handle, you're actually now giving it a different feel to your arm. And you're wanting to grab this a little more because now you're not on the pads of your fingers like this tool. Okay. Now you're your whole hand. So how with this different feel can I learn to relax more? You're still getting into the power position. You're still swinging it back and forth as close to your ankle as you can get. 
But now I feel totally differently in my forearm because now the weight is distributed differently in my arm. This is now giving me the opportunity to learn in a high pressure situation. When you got that front 11 and you're getting ready to throw that next shot, relax. This helps you to do that. And I think that also helps your release because a lot of, a lot of times we get questions about how do you relax your hand? How do you learn to relax your hand when you're letting go mm -hmm. of the ball? Mm -hmm. Because people think the more they grip it, the mm -hmm. more it turns, but that's actually wrong. That's, that, that's actually backwards. It's like playing a musical instrument. The more relaxed your hand is, the faster you can play your notes. The more relaxed your hand is in bowling, the more, chant, more that ball is gonna come off your hand so easy, you're gonna have more speed and more reps. So there's another tip right on top, just from these two pieces. Now you can combine these two as well, can't you? You can actually, I, I've seen this before, where you can actually get in that position. You can counterbalance yourself. There you go. And actually use it, not only to create that proper shoulder motion, but to give yourself more balance while you're going through the motion to make it even more comfortable because this is your normal bowling motion. What you're doing is you're training your non-bowling hand to be in the right position. And you're reprogramming your subconscious so you're there most of the time. And when I work with the youth, I usually say, let's go swimming. Because it's almost the swimming motion. And when I give them that visual, they automatically get it and they're excited to do it. And it, it gives a new dimension to bowling to the, to the youth. That's awesome. Now, we're gonna take the orb here and we're gonna introduce another piece that looks similar, but has a much different feel. And we'll be back in one second. All right, guys, so we have another tool here. And as I said, it's similar to what we just saw, but has much different function, much, much different feel. So uh, Al, tell me about this little guy here. We call this the kick pin. This is our swing trainer. Um, this is, you can order this in several different ways, but this one here is the XL pin. This is the five pound one. And again, this is uh, just like the orb that we uh, discussed. It's five pounds and it gives you that same feel of a 15 pound bowling ball coming off the pads of your fingers. So it's quite useful in training to actually have that feel of the bowling motion. Now this uses that same material, so. It certainly does, bend it back. Comes right back. This is actually, this is really amazing to me. Like this thing can take an absolute beating Bend it over, hold it. Now, find any cracks here. There are none. There's none. No, there's nothing. Virtually indestructible. So how do we use this guy? This guy has a myriad of uses. And uh, to me, it's one of the most amazing tools that we have, simply because I've had eight-year-old girls immediately see what an improvement this makes in, in what they're doing. Teenagers who think that they've seen it and done it all. Well, Put one of these. Are you saying teenagers might know everything? Well, <laughs> we, we've all run into one or two. And as soon as you put one of these in their hands, the light bulb goes off. It makes our jobs as coaches so much easier because they can feel it. And that's one of the difficult things that, that we run into is how can we verbally tell our student what to feel. It's difficult. It's theirs. They own it. We don't, but we try. We try to choose that word. We try to use that phrase, that metaphor that gives them the feeling. This does our jobs for us. Okay. When we're trying to get them to stop coming around, this tells them they're coming around. When we're trying to stop them from pulling down from the top, this tells them they're pulling down from the top. Okay. And so, again, it just makes what we're trying to do as coaches, getting them a little bit better, makes our jobs easier. So this gives you instant feedback to make adjustments to get into the proper positions and to use the proper relaxation mm -hmm. to create 
a repeatable swing. It actually helps to also teach patience in your bowling swing. Okay, this you got to show me. There you go. All right, this there you got to show go. me. First of all, some of the features are a very narrow point here. So most of the weight is below, way below your hand, which gives you the opportunity for, if you're off just a little bit, it'll still give you that little bit of feedback that I'm not just perfect. Okay. But since gravity is the guy that's taking this pin straight down, it has to be straight down every time. Okay, all right. So there's no deviation. Any deviation in your swing, this will talk to you. Now, as far as the patience I was talking about, we all know when we're at the apex of our backswing, there's just a momentary pause. And if you don't wait for that pause, you're pulling down and it gets your ball offline. Well, you have to, when you're swinging this pin, you have to wait for it to come down. It teaches you patience in the bowling swing. It teaches you um, to wait for gravity to take the pin back down. Now, if you don't, you can automatically see that it falls off, it falls over, it falls back, and it tells you that you're not waiting for gravity to take it down. That is a lot of feedback very instantly. You can, I mean, you can, you can see that if you try, if you try to pull it, it folds. I see why you guys use this material now mm -hmm. for the feedback. Mm -hmm. Because you have to, let me, let me give that a try here. You Absolutely. have to wait for that. So let's see here. Oh yeah, you can, I can feel that. You right went inside. Yeah. Now you just straightened it out. You can feel it very quickly and you can adjust your body because of that feedback. Because if I, if I start to pull it down, you can see it. Mm -hmm. Buckle up right there. But if I just let gravity, just let gravity come through. Now you don't know it, but I'm standing here in front of you. You just change your swing path a good three inches. Wow. Your first three swings were almost on the other side of your head. Huh. You felt it because I saw it turn sideways. And while you were talking, your subconscious made a move and your, your swing got straighter and more vertical. That's the feedback. It happens without you even knowing it happens. It's, it's brilliant because it's simple and you, okay, you, you, you guys know, I'm going to, I'm going to say what I, what I think. I can feel it when I go back. If I turn my hand, if I start coming like this, I can instantly feel the ball, this start to loop. Mm -hmm. I can feel my fingers turn. I can feel everything and I can just make that change. It even helps you you can actually feel the palm of your hand no longer being square to the foul line. If you turn it a little to the side, oh, yeah. you can feel that. Oh yeah. So it does a myriad of things as far as training for the proper modern day bowling motion. This is, this is incredible. So if we have one of these, Mm -hmm. and we have the orb, mm -hmm. and we have the big handle power trainer. Mm -hmm. How do we use these when we're here on the lanes? What can we do with these all together mm -hmm. to work on our swing? So if we want to, if we have the lane here, we're not gonna throw a ball, but we wanna feel a, different, a difference, how would we do that? I hope we have all day, because there <laughs> are a hundred ways to show you how this does. Even with these pins being, this is a five pound version. Okay. Sometimes they're even heavy for the youth. You can grab these different ways. I've had 10 year old young girls actually grab it by the neck and rest it on their shoulder. And we'll do the one step drill for timing. Oh. I actually use this in the, in the timing drill to start the ball. When you start, push away. And it gives them that feeling of, I've got to wait here and I've got to start it with my foot, but I don't have a 10 or 15 pound bowling ball 
when we're training, we want to feel weight so we understand that we're, we're an athlete and we're applying this to an athletic move. Okay. But we don't want to wear them out when we're going to do this move a hundred times. Well, that's what I was thinking because, because a lot of kids you know, they get moved up in weight so fast, and a mm -hmm. lot of time it's too fast. Yes, it is. This is something that they can practice with without wearing themselves out mm -hmm. and be able to actually go through their entire motion on the lane mm -hmm. without throwing a ball and be able to do it over and over and over again and get that training without having mm -hmm. to completely wear themselves out. Here, here's the hard part. Even me as a parent, I've went through the same thing, so... I'm speaking to the choir here. <laughs> it's not like buying a pair of shoes, where when your child is going through a growth spurt, you get it, you buy that pair of shoes two sizes too big maybe, so that they last a long time and you get your money's worth out of your purchase. And people try to do that with a bowling ball. Yep. Well, I've been throwing an eight pound ball, need to move up to a 10 pound ball, but I'm gonna buy a 12 so maybe they can last a little bit longer and I don't have to buy another ball. Yep. At that point, I kind of suggest, let's use a 10 pound house ball until they grow out of that 10 pounder and then we'll go purchase a 12 pounder. That kind of helps them there. But that's what these tools help us do. It helps us get ready, get our bowling muscles um, grooved so that we can handle those weight changes. Now, with these three pieces, I've used these for my to, to rehab my shoulder injury. Mm -hmm. One of the things I noticed is I was able to grow my bowling muscles as much as I was retraining them uh, because I went from literally not being able to pick up a ball back to throwing my regular weight mm -hmm. at a heavy 15 because I could repeat these over and over. I could actually train the muscle and grow the muscle so that I could move that weight up rather mm -hmm. than just forcing myself mm -hmm. up. Mm -hmm. So there's a lot that we can do with these. Not only that, but uh, we've also got what we call our three-in-ones. We can actually add weight to these to, like what you said, help to retrain those muscles and to grow them a little bit. So even though this is made maximum in five pounds, we can actually make this six, seven, or eight pounds with some of our added products that we have. Wow, that's awesome. All right, so we've looked at uh, some of these to help with our swing. I think there's one more tool that we can add here that we can put it all together and show people not only how we can train their swing, but how we can create that repeatability. There you so go. why don't we grab some stuff and we'll be right back. All right, guys, so we have the third part of uh, the swing training group here. Um, and it's, it's a little unusual looking. Why don't you tell me about what we have right here? This is our newly released alignment trainer. Okay. And as Del Warren says, he really looks at where you lay, the, where the ball starts, where you lay it down. How do you get that in a more defined area? How do you get that ball started just right? So we thought and thought and thought and thought, and this is actually our third generation before we ever released it to the public of how do we get that feedback. All of our tools is always teaching you the feel of the bowling game. And we didn't want to deviate from that purpose, but how do you feel something that's not attached to you? So we had to invent something that give you the proper feedback, and I think we've come up with it. Well, yeah, because I know when I'm bowling, I'm not looking down here when I throw a ball. I'm looking at where it's going over the arrows, where my, where my motion is, where mm -hmm. my break point is. Mm -hmm. So I see these little sticks out here. I think I got an idea what these are for, but why don't, why don't you elaborate on, on how exactly this works? Those little sticks right there actually talk to you. Okay. They tell you if you're good or if they tell you you need to improve a little bit. And let me tell you, these are training tools. And you go to an NFL camp, you go to a hockey camp, you go to any professional level camp, you are going to see some of the toughest drills 
you're going to see sweat pouring off these professional athletes. And I think that's what we've kind of developed here because this will make you work to get you in that perfect release point that you want to hit okay. so, that, so that you can repeat your shot time and again. So we've got two different setups here. We've got one with the sticks here a little bit farther apart and one a little bit closer together. And I'm guessing since we got the tools beside them that they're designed to use with the different tools. That is correct. And there's a lot of engineering that went into these things. And one thing that's real important is when you go down and you find where your lay down area is, the margin of error that puts you in the 200 average bowler and higher is about a board and a half to two boards. So that's what we've engineered and designed into these tools. You can use the narrow, narrower setup with your swing trainer pin. And if you'll notice, that's about a board, board and a half of give left and right. You can use the orb, put it in between the wider sticks. That's what you've got. You've got about a board and a half. So what we're saying here, automatically, if you learn to train with these tools time and time and time again to the point where you can swing it through without touching the tools, and you see how difficult it is, and I'm, I'm not even doing the whole bowling motion, I'm just swinging here just a few inches. If you can teach yourself to get in between here, you're automatically putting yourself into an elite position to, to repeat your shot, to make more spares, to hit that pocket more, and we all know what happens when you accomplish that. Your score not only goes up, your average goes up, and those honor scores start to happen. I like honor scores. I'm a big fan of those. <laughs> so let me give this a try here. So we can start, I guess, by using a one-step drill, getting into my, my finished position, lining the ball up. We'll get it right there. Now, okay, now. don't laugh. Don't <laughs> laugh. <laughs> you can actually move your foot up a little bit and a little closer. Oh yeah. There you go. Yeah, Excellent. my ball position Excellent. wants to be right there. Because you want that ball close to your ankle. Right there. And the way this is, it allows you to get in that perfect position. All right, so let me, let me try swinging this thing. Really good, really good. I really like how you've got your head up and not down because now you're really training as if oh, you're bowling. I hit one. You didn't even oh, see I it. I hit it. Yep, you, now I'm really hitting them. You didn't see it, but yet you heard and you felt the feedback. Yeah, that feedback, you can, even just that little touch, you can feel it, it goes up through this into your hand. You can feel as soon as you start to go off, mm -hmm. you go tick, 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 and you can hear it click. That's really interesting. I actually, I wanna try that again. So foot in there, nice and close. There, head up. Yeah, you can feel that as soon as you start to deviate. You swung your, or I didn't even see it, but I saw that you swung outside about two inches. And instantly. Instantly, if you'd have just kept swinging, you would have naturally brought your arm in those two inches because your mind says, I don't want to hit those anymore. And so you really don't even have to think about training. The feedback that the tools give you put you into the perfect training position. All right, let me try this. Let me try this guy here. Because this guy, I spent a lot of time, um, if you guys watched my, my, the way I used to swing, I used to hold the ball very far over, which created this. And when I was trying to get rid of that, if I did this, the whole thing collapsed on me. So let me see what I can do Get this sucker nice and lined up. Oh, yeah, feel that very quick. All right, so All I'm right. not. Now, if I may help you a little bit. Absolutely. Rob, there you go. You just changed your trailing leg position to get yourself into a better position. Let me get this sucker stopped here. Get it swinging. Yeah, I can feel every time my mm -hmm. arm goes away from me now, mm -hmm. I can feel it on the outside. 
And, and you look, you're automatically getting better right there. Now you hit the inside sticks. You see, you are improving your bowling motion and you're not even hardly working at it. The tool is telling your subconscious, I'm going to get better. I don't want to hit those sticks. And now look at it. Yeah. Wow, that is, that is immediate feedback. I, I can't believe how easy that is. That is... Now just imagine if you were able to swing that a hundred times without touching the sticks. What do you think you would bowl like when you took it to the lanes? Well, that's, that's like throwing 10 games right there. Suddenly you've practiced 10 games without having to do anything. You have to see improvement. Yeah, absolutely. That's, wow, that's incredible. So, let's try something. We've been trying with the power, with, with the orb here, Does it really work with a bowling ball? So we'll get my foot in that same spot. Ball in my hand. Trailing leg in a better position. Trailing there you go, very position. nice, very nice. Wonderful. Yeah, I can feel hitting the outside there. And now I've adjusted my arm a little bit farther inside. Yeah, I can feel every time my arm gets away from me, I hit those sticks. Huh. That feedback is absolutely instant. It absolutely is. And you can use it with your bowling ball or with the trainers. Mm-hmm. I like it. But how do we take this to the next level? There you go. What you've done is the perfect one-step drill. Okay. And that is wonderful to practice anywhere. You can practice that at work. Uh -huh. You can practice that uh, in, at home, anywhere, uh, in your garage, your man cave. Yep. But now, how do we practice the entire bowling motion? And that's where a pair of these, or even more, can help you to do that. Okay. I want to see this. Show me. How do we turn this into an entire swing? Because I can understand my one step and throwing, but how do we put this together to make a complete? First of all, what I want you to do is I want you to pick the board that you'd like to lay the ball down on. The 10 board, the 12 board. You know, for the sake of, for the sake of easiness, why don't we say, I'm gonna try to hit center of the lane. We're gonna set center of this right on the center. Okay, so we're on the 20 board. Yep. Now what I want you to do is go through your normal bowling motion, even throw the ball if you'd like, because I want to set the second trainer in the position where your ball is at its lowest point. All right. So I'm going to take it here, and I'm gonna, I have a five-step approach. So I'm going to go one long one, one short one, one long one, one short one. So I'm gonna be lining up right about here. There you go. So we're gonna use the orb here. I'm gonna line up. Whoa. Okay, very good. I found feedback, because <laughs> the first thing I did was I tried to throw it harder. Very good. Now what we're going to do is, I've marked your spot where the lowest point in your swing is okay. for the ball. What we're going to do is take this second alignment trainer, and that's where we want the ball to go through in your initial push away and when the ball starts downward. Okay, so we're actually going to have this at the bottom of my swing. Now you, okay, we've moved this over to here, getting that squared away. And then all we're doing is coming back and we're putting this in the exact same position for your bowling motion. All right. Now, it's simple geometry after that. If this is a perfect line and you get your ball started on a perfect line, 
only other missing point is the mark that you're aiming for out on the lanes. Okay. Once you put this in the perfect spot, this in the perfect spot, and you pick chosen the perfect spot out on the lane, you can't help but to hit your target every single time. All right, so let's give this a try again with the orb here. So I'm gonna line up. Now here's that patience you were talking about. Mm -hmm. Hit myself. Mm -hmm. It's that instant feedback. So I can feel it through there. Okay. You're going to have to redo that one. That's okay. Because you started your ball motion a lot sooner than you did in your when you when you really did it. In fact, All I right. think you need to move up just about six inches. Yeah. Yeah. So move up about six inches. Here's what here's what here's what I need to see. I need to see. Just like that. Okay, obviously you are way better than, at this than I am. This is a this is actually a really, really tough drill. <laughs> it is. This is this this is a learner real fast. Okay. First of all, I can tell that you're a, a little uneasy about something being on the approach. So somehow you're going to have to get rid of that. Get relax. I got to relax. <laughs> Those are not in your way. I promise you. All right. There you go. That's a lot better. Sweet. Very nice. So I made it through this one, but I hit that one. Yeah. And that's, I think that's a, we talked a little bit about that on consistency. What you actually did is you created a launch angle, not straight, but to the outside. Because you were about three to four inches inside here. Huh. Now, if you're throwing at 20 and wanting to get out to five, that's perfect. You simply move this over about two boards and practice throwing on that line. All right, so let's give this another try here. Because this is actually, now that I've done it. How so about I'm that? Still a little bit inside on this one, but not as bad. You've, and that one was straight through. Very honest with you, you stepped away from this one. Did I? So, there again, it's it's about the arm swing, but in your case, it's about this helping you with your footwork. And that's amazing how one tool for one thing can lead to something else, because I would have, I can't look at my own footwork while I'm bowling, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so I would never know that I've got a footwork mm -hmm. problem there. And you don't need me here to tell you that. If you know this is on the straight line, or on your intended ball path line, and you get this feedback, I don't need to be here. Huh. You can teach yourself hey, I need to do better at this. So for those bowlers who don't have a silver level coach near them, they can actually use this to practice those skills they need to increase repeatability with instant feedback mm -hmm. and get better. And the way you use these tools is only limited by your imagination. All right, this has given me a lot to think about. This is, I mean, my swing path is better, mm -hmm. but I can already see work that has to be done, not here, but here. What you're doing is you're turning your intentions into action. That's brilliant. I love it. All right, guys. So uh, we've looked at quite a few tools on this show. Uh, we've looked at the orb, Big handle power trainer. We got this guy here. The swing, swing trainer, trainer pin. So much we've looked at today, just on improving your swing, improving your strength, and learning to be patient, so that you can become a better bowler, not through consistency, mm -hmm. but through repeatability. Exactly, that's the goal. So until next time, guys. 
I'm Rob, and this is Al. We'll see you lane side. This program is sponsored by Turbo, driven to bowl, for all the quad two inserts and interchangeable thumbs we use in all of our videos. Dexter Bowling Shoes, the world's most advanced bowling shoe, the SST8. Bowlerama Berry, for all the lanes we bowl on. For birthday parties and corporate events, call now. Still searching for that perfect fit? With no residue and easy removal, Real Bowler's Tape really is the Real Bowler's Choice. Plantronics Rig, Stereo Headset and Mixer. Play more, pause less. And Logo Infusion. Look the best, be the best, infuse your game. Logo Infusion.